Mopar power, Weatherwolf power, Triple X power, Leonard Leatherworks power, Superior glove power. maritime spook here and uh i'm just out and about here guys uh just out for a walk really guys we got a bunch of snow the last couple days so i'm not going to go up and do my rock wall thing today i think i'll just walk the field a bit and then maybe get up on the road and walk one of the roads uh, but what i want to show you here guys besides the fact i got a new weather wool hoodie that we're going to be showing here and don't mind the background this is our camper and this spring uh into the summer we're gonna i'm gonna reclaim it back because there's been mice wanting to live in it so we gotta clean that happens with a lot of campers in the country you gotta clean it out do some work there's some stuff that's gonna have to be thrown out just a whole bunch of stuff guys anyway but so i just walked up around here just to peek in the window and uh you know come up so anyway guys uh wearing a new weather wool hoodie awesome awesome hoodie guys I uh, can't say enough about their products, and there'll be a link in the description. Remember that code, SPOOK10, guys. It's 10% off with some of the stuff, and it's the best garment you're ever going to get. There's no wool garments out there right now, guys, that are competing with this. And I'm not saying that because I'm biased or anything like that, cause, but I am biased because I know how good it is. But it's a point, guys, it took them three years before they even put anything to market because they tested things. They did... Uh, you know they tried different materials different ways that they were sewn they actually went to ranchers and talked to the ranchers that had the sheep instead of just picking sheep they were actually picking the sheep like you know in their own way to say i want that sheep and this wool and this kind of wool and going to the ranches and you know there's just a lot of stuff that went into it that doesn't go into other things this isn't the same as cutting up uh you know military blankets that's fine guys but you got to look at it one way some of those are 100 or 200 dollars cheaper that's a blanket that was cut up. This thing's been engineered, you know, in a way to keep you warm, dry, and happy, basically, in the bush. So, anyway, guys, the, the hoodie's a good option if you don't like pullovers. I'm not a huge anorak guy when it comes to some things. I like anoraks, but I thought the hoodie would be better for my needs. So, I went with uh, getting, the, getting the hoodie uh, instead of the anorak. But I may still get an anorak, too, because I just love it. So, Went with the Lynx pattern again, so just check them out guys. Just good friends of Spooks. Spook 10, uh, all uppercase letters, you'll get the 10% off. And of course, tell them Spook sent you, so. Uh, but another thing with another code that you guys will be able to get 10% off on is my friends uh, at Leonard Leatherworks. I got this pouch in the mail the same day I got the hoodie. And we got some items in here I wanna show you, but how I've got it set up is I've got it on a uh, canvas belt and then I have it, you know, Baldrick style, and I have Triple X Forester one off, beautiful knife, just one of the best knives, one of my most used knives. <clears throat> just love this with the uh, Spectra Ply handles, double lanyard loop there that's got two lanyard holes in it, which you don't see very often, and that serves as being able to easily have around your wrist. So Immaculate knife. Uh, this sheath here, the Leonard Leatherworks cross draw sheath, because this is a Leonard Leatherworks product too, was actually made for uh, more cansable. But you know, I've been carrying this in it because this is a knife I carry more. I love the cansable, but this fit, so it's going to stay in this. This is a knife that will stay in it. Uh, so anyway, guys, here's the belt pouch right here. It's got a retention strap at the bottom. You unhook that. And then you've, I've got some items in here that, uh, this thing is, guys, this will interchange with items. Um, I probably won't keep the same stuff over and over again, you know, inside the pouch. But uh, I've got a few things that, uh, you know, would help me along the way, we'll put it that way. So just give me two seconds here, guys. We'll set up things a little bit different, and I'll show you what I got in this pouch. What's up, guys? I'm going to show you what's in this pouch real quick. And, uh, well, I really like this pouch for... And I like this setup, I guess you would say, for is for the simple fact that for one, you've got all your stuff right here. When you need your knife, it's easily accessible. You got your knife right there. You know, it's not hard to get that. That's, that's one plus to this. And you can slide that over here and have it like more as like a neck knife type thing or whatever. So you can slide this right in and out of the way very easily. So I just really like that. But, uh, 
first thing I get in here guys is some cordage and I like shot cord and we're gonna do a video on this here sometime soon because why I like shot cord is you can make a, a bow really easy with it you really can enough that you could fire uh, arrows enough to probably get a turkey or a rabbit something like that and that's in survival situation you know bad you know the poop set the fan and you've got no other way like I'm not gonna say just go out and shoot turkeys because we're not even in the Brunswick here allowed to you know even hunt them yet I'm just saying if you were gonna die and that was what you had left to hunt yeah uh, so anyway I got a bunch of shot cord shot cord is awesome because it stretches out and you can use it for a lot I can do a lot of stuff I could get a shelter rung up with one of these I could lash stuff with it I could do a lot with just that you know little ball of uh, shot cord now there's not a ton in here guys and the thing is for fishing season uh, this is one thing I'm really going to like it for is fishing season it's going to come in a lot in handy but I got a small trade uh, ferrocene rod in here just to back up to other ones I usually carry in my pocket I've got a magnifying glass starting solar fires being able to see things cuts or anything on your hand that you might not be able to see as well and also you can signal with one of these but i have a signaling device in the pouch but uh solar fires mostly that's something that you're never gonna if the sun's out you're not gonna run out of a way to get a fire going i've let chaga i've let birch bark different things with this uh you know this even the same one this is one of the bigger things in in the pouch this right here got a couple ranger bands on it which are flammable as well and what's inside this guys is a whole bunch of jute twine uh, fat wood shavings fat wood feathers um, the whole and the bottom of it's all lined with birch bark now in a survival or just bad cold gonna get hypothermia type situation guys I would take this whole thing and I would I would I wouldn't even I'd either dump it all out onto the birch bark or if I had to guys I've got a bunch of these tins I would put this right underneath all my small stuff and some birch bark and I would just drop a spark right into this tin and that way I could get uh, the fire going and it would concentrate right into this tin I've actually did it before with a smaller Altoids tin where I just dropped a spark right in it and slid my smaller pencil size and finger, uh, you know, pinky size stuff, you know, over top of it, and then and birch bark and got fire going. Spark in one of these tins. So to me, with spark, even or lighter or anything, this is sure fire. And I mean, I have something else to ignite things with right here that I'm going to show you now. I have this antique match kit, matched uh, tin, and I have some strike anywhere matches in it. And I've also got some UCO storm matches in there. Now, if I take the matches and then drop the match into this, this is so much flammable material that no matter what, as long as I've built my fire lay good enough, you know, I've, I've got fire for sure. So we got spark, we got solar, um, you know, and this is a cool little kit too, guys. Have you seen that? I've seen it on Instagram, maybe if you follow that, but this is an antique tin I traded to traded for. And it actually is an antique match uh, container so it's they would be wore a lot of them around your neck or in a pocket with a chain and then it was something you would pull out to light your cigarette or, or pipe with you know or candles you got to figure back in you know Victorian and times before everything was candlelight so to have matches on you you would have to, just to be able to see things at night you would need it so very cool it's got an english thing i wish somebody out there would know be able to tell me more about that paul if you're watching i think it's an english uh coat of arms but i want to find out more about it the guy i traded it for he got it in a trade so he's not even sure about it so i got that in there guys and the very last thing that's in the pouch here is a signal mirror now this can be used for a million million different things guys uh for one thing if you get a cut or something in your eye if you're out in the woods how are you going to do that you can't see what's in there you won't be able to remove it as easy um this is a star flash so you actually look through the hole and then you can reflect the sun and get your signal up to three miles away with one of these um so signaling also seeing around things that you 
you know if you had to see around a little bit of a corner or something like that you can actually see up underneath things there's just a million things to have one of these they don't weigh a ton this one's actually got a crack in the back of it so it's the one i kind of just take kit to kit but i've got two two other ones that are in mint condition and they go into different kits as well so but uh, i just want to show you all that guys very beautiful pouch it's very good uh, belt strap on the back so you're not going to lose this thing guys and uh you know it's it's just very nicely done very nicely stitched and uh, it's going to very be very good in fishing season because i'm going to put fishing kit in it and this will be the setup most likely that i wear in fishing season i'll have my knife i'll have this and uh away i'll go so i just want to share that with you there guys i appreciate everything everybody's been doing instagram is absolutely just blowing up on me um so i greatly greatly appreciate that guys and uh you know just get out do your thing and uh, i appreciate everything everybody's doing check in the description 10 percent off leonard leatherworks you want to get one of these pouches they're a good deal and they're superbly made by canadian craftsmen uh triple x knives and 10 percent off of weather wool as well guys uh, i'm an advisor there if you want to go over and see a little bit about you know a little biography about spook go on weatherwool.com and look at the uh, and there'll be a link in the description and look at the uh advisors page uh, it says your advisors and that's another thing if you buy anything or you want to look into that some of the stuff guys i'm an advisor so that means i can tell you about it tell you my experience with it what i like about it things like that so anyway guys stay safe swoop signing out